All right, so I am here with uh, Blasphemous. I'm not live streaming yet because all the kids are awake, as you can undoubtedly hear. Hi, Tyrion. But uh, I want to give my quick uh, initial impressions or first impressions of the game. Um, it's a Metroidvania type of game, action platformer. Uh, it's heavy on the uh, religious iconography. Uh, very reminiscent of Spanish Catholicism. I don't know what, what era or time period the game takes place in yet, but uh, it's extremely and deliciously macabre. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I, the, the music playing um, differs from that of Castlevania or even Metroid, where uh, the, the, the music is not only atmospheric, but kind of lends itself to the area you're exploring as well. Uh, this is more of an ambient type of music. Uh, each area has its own specific soundtrack. Um, and it's very, very dour, as you can hear. Um, there's nothing uplifting or upbeat about this game, and I say that in the most appreciative and loving way. It's uh, exactly what I, was, what I was looking for, or usually look for in a video game. Um, Bloodstained was, was an outstanding game. Um, and so far... I, I can't really compare the two, but uh, I like the tone and atmosphere of this one much more than I do uh, uh, of the former. But uh, I'll be live streaming more of the game later tonight. Um, it's kind of like Dark Souls. Uh, you may have heard that as well. Um, I know what Dark Souls is. The combat isn't all that difficult, but uh, it can get uh, a little tricky. Most of the guys you can just hammer away on. Um, yeah. Uh, I do have a down thrust. I didn't use it here. And I should have. But, uh, yeah, it's... It, oh, shit. There you go, right there. Um, a lot of Latin, obviously, so... I'm uh, not sure, again, when, the, when, the, when this game takes place. Uh, now, when you die, as you can see here on the map, that little pink marker over to the left of where uh, my character marker is is uh, I, I can go back and basically pick up my souls so it's a lot like uh, Dark Souls or Demon Souls um, if I have one early criticism of the game it's uh, it's this um, ah. it's you have to hit square to hold on I kinda just wish that was automatic but uh, so far, so good. I'm going to be streaming a bit more later tonight um, if I don't fall asleep first. But I want to give everybody a quick taste of the game in case you're, in case there's any fans of uh, action platformers out there or Metroidvania games. See right there, Guilt Fragment. Yeah, this is not Souls. Every, everybody's extremely guilty and sorrowful in this game. Whoa, I don't want to go there. Or do I? Um, yeah, we can do that. But, uh, yeah. Let's play for a bit here. We'll go up later. Now the space in between, uh, you can see the, the, the little icons of the gold shrines. Those are your save points, uh, your respawn points. Um, but the game does auto save. If you collect an item and die, when you respawn, all of that's covered and the map you've uncovered stays uncovered. You don't have to. You don't have to redo that. Excuse me. It's not. It's not as punishing as Dark Souls in that regard. And these rosaries and beads and stuff you collect uh, give some lore. Let's see. Incense, garlic. Okay. So quest items. Let's see. Thorn. Okay. Bulb white is bone. Very hard to find. Its intense aroma, reminiscent of sandalwood, is only noticeable on rainy days, betraying its hiding place. It was sought after by the Herbalist with the best sense of smell for its miraculous properties. And then you can click triangle for lore, get a bit more insight into the item. Ever since then, our pious kisses have saved hundreds from the affliction of the miracle that ravages these lands. And from our congregation has been called that of the kisser of wounds. Uh, that's something I really like about this game. Uh, it's heavy on the religion, but it's very... It's, it's like there's self-flagellation in this, and people are killing themselves, uh, not even necessarily for atonement, just out of guilt. Um, just when you think you know an NPC can't get any more sorrowful, sorrowful, or morose, they do. Uh, so it's pretty cool. 
a very heavy heavy atmosphere let's see okay so we gotta go up here Okay, make sure there's nothing out here. Wait a minute. Okay, and you see, might see that little cherub up there. Uh, you basically, they're empty souls or something like that. I forget what they're called, but you have to, uh, you have to get them for, or free them, and then you get, you get, helps you with upgrading your your character, or the protagonist, I should say. Oh shit! There is a block, uh, a block encounter system that kind of. I'll heal myself there with L1. You start out with these... Damn it! Uh, not fighting very well right now. He's not too dangerous, but... And now I need to find a save point. <laughs> Oh! Oh, there we go, right there. Son of a bitch. That's bullshit, man. No, you're just mad no I'm. That's somebody I know from Racquetball says that. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> Alright, so there's the souls thing there. I'm still kind of acclimating to the to the controls. Uh, it's X to jump or cross to jump, and then uh, square to attack. Ah. I hate I it's this alternating gotta alternate cross square cross square and hopefully I think I've unlocked one upgrade so far and that is there it is oh I've got two unlocked sinful wrath and sacred thrust and you have to go to a certain certain shrine to unlock them I can't just unlock them as I play here Sorry, take it easy, bud. It's not letting me <laughs> now your incentive to fight instead of run is the those points over in the top right hand corner there give you uh or what you use to do upgrades, so it behooves you to fight. Uh, and there's the remnants of my Ah shit. I just wasted my health. I hit L1 instead of R1 to... Oh man, I didn't even realize I was being hit. Whew. Oh my. I don't mind hitting hitting square once to grab onto the to the wall, but I I wish you wouldn't didn't have to repeatedly do that. That that's really the only gripe I have about the game. The rest of it's pretty awesome. Ah shit, my nose is itching. And you've got to kill enemies to refill your magic bar. Damn it, man. I gotta get the timing down on these things. Oh, come on.
Ah. Here we go again, and I think uh, I remember reading or watching uh, a tutorial on the game that explained all of your souls stay. So yeah, so there's two right there, and the, the the pink icons, so you don't lose anything permanently. You can always go back and get it. I think I might sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, come on, man! I'm just playing sloppy now. Let's, let's tighten it up there. Where's the tissue, guys? Oh, there it is. Hang on one second. Uh. Alright, let's do this. Oh, come on now. Whoa. Block. Come on, Scott. Block. Man. So oh, I'm all an offensive minded player. This area is pretty tough. Oh, Sawyer just farted. Oh, man. Oh, my. Same fucking mistake over and over.
Jesus. I blocked, man. Aye, aye. Let me see what I got going on there. Okay. <laughs> Fatality. Hey, I killed one. down first oh what's this uh oh that's right <laughs> oh my brutal Oh, come on, man. Scumbag. busy flagellating himself I'll slice him can't get greedy there got you figured out Thank <laughs> you. 
It always feels like you're gonna slide off. All right, let's see if I can't recover. don't like this area. <laughs> I'm going to come back. Yeah. Graveyard of the Peaks. Awesome. Oh, this fucking wind. Now it's Ninja Guy Den. It's Mega Man. Oh my god, one shot? Jesus. Oops, got greedy, went to the well one too many times. now. <laughs> Repose, come on. Come on. Damn it, dude! <sighs> I did. <sighs> mm. I'm thinking I'll have to come back. Yeah. 
That's just a lot, man. I need more more uh, life. Okay. Repose. guys complicate things, don't they? Oh! Damn! Brutal. The game's brutal. Itch, 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 itch. Itch behind my right ear. Let's roll. to the bathroom by himself. Big boy, you gonna sit on my lap? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 